is a beautiful world. We didn't just want to, to give children the, the usual fairy tales. That's Elena Favilli, who wrote Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls with co-author Francesca Cavallo. It's not a typical book of fairy tales. These stories are true. They're true stories about real women around the world who accomplished amazing things. The authors got their idea for the series after hearing Gina Davis speak about gender inequality in children's media. My institute has commissioned the largest body of research ever done on uh, gender in film and television covering a 20-year span, and the results were, were stunning. Davis discovered there were far fewer female characters in children's media, one female to every three males, and that the females she did find were not very realistic. Often the female character's waist is so tiny that you have to wonder, could you fit a spinal column in there? <laughs> and the most, uh, one of the most common occupations for female characters in G-rated movies was uh, royalty, which is a nice gig if you can get it. When Favili and Cavallo heard these statistics, they decided to do something about it. They wrote Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, a children's book packed with 100 bedtime stories about the lives of 100 extraordinary women from the past and present, illustrated by 60 female artists from all over the world. Stories about Queen Elizabeth, Serena Williams, Eva Perone, and the first female African-American astronaut, Mae Jemison, just to name a few. The stories include women from modern day history and from the ancient past. There is one that I particularly love, which is this female pharaoh who lived long before Cleopatra, but her name was Hatshepsut. She was the first female pharaoh to rule over Egypt, and she was a very successful leader. But in any case, after her, her death, they tried to destroy her memory, and so her statues were smashed, and every living memory of her reign and of her, uh, of her life was basically destroyed, because they, everyone was scared that other women could then, based on her example, try to seek power. Elena says this is symbolic of the stories they try to capture, the women they write about, women who might be lost to history or overlooked in faraway countries. Francesca Cavallo's favorite story is one of more modern-day women. That's the story of the Black Mambas. And this is the story of this group of rangers that has basically revolutionized the way they patrol the national parks in South Africa. The Black Mambas are 26 women in South Africa who patrol nature preserves and protect endangered animals by working together and collaborating, a concept Francesca Cavallo says shatters the typical female stereotype in most stories. Stories. Usually in traditional fairy tales, uh, women are uh, rivals and uh, they can stand each other, they try to kill each other. Instead, in our books, uh, women collaborate uh, and do all sorts of incredible things. And uh, so that is one of the aspects that I'm most proud of, of the stories that we feature in our books. According to Elena Favilli, there's one thing that all the women in their book have in common. Perseverance was something that all these women had to nurture and stick to because it wasn't easy for any of them. No matter how, how smart they were or how passionate they were, nothing came easy. They, they had to struggle to fight, to, to see their talent recognized, to see their discoveries sometimes recognized. Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls is launching a podcast this March featuring a new rebel girl every week. You can learn more at abeautiful.world. My idea of a beautiful world is where women are free to choose for themselves, for their body, for their career, for their future. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World. Brought to you with help from the Polad Family Foundation.